Welcome, I'm Colin Daniel from RiftNinja.com and today we're going to take a look at a sequence of bass notes that create slash chords in the key of D. And I got two examples for you, both are similar and this is a, a really common move. Uh, it's used in a lot of songs and the two I could think of, of off the top of my head for this lesson was Needle in a Damage Done by Neil Young and uh, can't find my way home, which was traffic with Steve Winwood and Eric Clapton. We'll start with the needle and the damage done. Every time you have a bass note in a chord uh, that's lower than the root, you get a slash chord. So we start with just a regular D major, and we start by hitting the D bass note. You know, and then it moves over, and I use my pinky, and I get, and that's a D major slash C bass, so it goes. Now normally, if you play a C over a D, you just strum it. It doesn't sound that good, but when you pick them out individually, and the next one is a B. Now you notice I changed my fingering on the D chord, and that changes the voicing of the D a little bit. It's still technically a D major. When we add the G to it, it's a D major plus four slash B. But it's the bass line that I'm really interested in. So it goes all the way down from the D to the C to the B to the B flat. The same D voicing is used for the B, the D slash B, and the B flat bass note, which is D slash B flat. And it is a D major, just that it's a varied voicing of it, and it's easier to do that than switch all your fingers around, because you could switch your fingers around, you know, so you'd have to go from this D, and then C with your pinky, and now you'd have to switch your fingers around and play the D major like this. So you could do that too if you wanted, but for the needle and the damage done, uh, Neil Young doesn't do that. He just takes his first finger off and moves it over to the B bass note. And then from there, he moves it down to the B flat, keeping the same D form. So. bass run. And that's the Can't Find My Way Home, which is arpeggiated. I mean, you can still strum it. So I like to finger pick it. I use a hybrid style, but you could pick it. The picking sequence for that is bass note, and then three, two, one, two, three. So one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, and four, one. Every time you're going third string, second, first, second, third. And the timing is one, two, and three, and four. So bass note is the one, then two, and three, and four. Bass note, two, and three, and four. Bass note, two, and three, and four. Two, and three, and four. Then F major and G major. It's bass in D. It's kind of a pull-off move there. You could pick it too. It depends on the effect you want. 
You strum the D, strike the D bass note again, go up to the third fret, pull off, move over to the fifth string, third fret, and strike the C. So, whoops, ouch. And that's how I get the progression. Thank you for your time and patience and uh, come check us out at the Riff Ninja School at riffninja.com. Take care and we'll see you in the next lesson.